Hi guys, welcome back to Collect's Marine Tank. Um, today we are here on not a very good note. I am just about to set off tomorrow morning on my sister's handu. Um, I'm away for three days, um, two nights and then into the following day. And I've just looked at the tank stupidly with a white torch and looked at all my torch garden and noticed what I personally think are flatworms and um, now the torches look amazing so I wouldn't have known that there was an issue um, and I wish I hadn't, hadn't done it before I'm about to go on a hen do because um, I think you worry don't you when you're not with the tank I personally don't have a camera that's on the tank at the moment I probably should have got one um, I'm only away three days so probably not but um, hey ho I've got my dad that's going to be coming in and doing the little bits that need to be done in the day but he doesn't really have a good background of marine um, or care for the tank in any way um, which I wouldn't expect but I'm now panicking because I'm going away um, so right now it's nearly nearly 11 o'clock at night um, actually it's just gone 11 o'clock at night and I am going to take all of my torches off of the rock I'm going to get them all dipped in an iodine dip and I'm going to try and see if the flatworms come off with the iodine dip. I don't have any flatworm RX or any of that sort of stuff in. Um, probably should have got stuff like that in just as a backup just in case but um, I suppose you don't ever know what's going to be an issue until it is. Um, so right now all I can do is iodine dip all of my torches, pop them back in and hope for the best. For the three days that I'm away. Um, I will do this video where I show you as much as I can as I'm going and once I'm back I'll try and do a follow-up to a part two to this video to see what happens when we get back. Um, I don't know if flatworms tend to stay just on the torches or if they will be all throughout the tank. I'm not sure so I need to do the torches first because they're obviously the most expensive part of the tank and then um, if I do happen to see them on other things that's when I'll take more things out but right now I just care about these torches and getting them out the holy grail obviously only came yesterday that doesn't appear to have anything on it so I think it's possibly come from another one of my um, torches which I do always dip but I guess um, I did actually read <laughs> crazy that this had happened because Marine Madness um, on Instagram used to be Cheapskate's Reef. He actually popped up a photo um, literally earlier today um, saying that he'd had an issue with flatworms on his torches and um, unfortunately he doesn't think that one of his will, will carry on. And then I've gone, checked on my torches and then seen flatworms but he also coral dips all of his torches and um, so he used coral rx on all of his i also used coral rx on all of mine nothing came off when he used coral rx but then when he did an iodine dip he started to notice the flatworms like flapping away from the coral and um, so i think that just shows when we buy our corals guys, we're probably worth dipping with both Coral RX and then a second dip with iodine. Um, I use the C-Chem or C-Chem as people call it, um, reef dip which has iodine in it. I'll show you this. Um, as well as the Coral RX, which I'm just going to see if I've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Um, here. So, I switched from this which I was always using when I first got my tank to this because everyone recommended this stuff. Um, I think it's probably good to do two dips um, especially when you're buying a more expensive coral but I think it's probably good practice to use it for every frag or coral that you get because you don't want any of the stuff coming in and affecting anything in the tank especially when you spend so much money on your tank. Um, so right now I've got this big bowl filled with iodine dip. It's 
got my tank water in up to temperature and I'm going to start taking torch by torch off of the rock. Um, I'm going to quickly try and show you a clip in a second of what I've seen. Okay guys, so here we go. Um, underneath this um, gold, Indo Gold torch, I don't know if you can see this, there you go. You can see lengthways looks like some sort of flatworm to me um, and you can also see like the bone of the the skeleton of the torch which isn't a good sign for me um, because that could mean it's eating away at the flesh already um, when you look at the other ones you can't really see the flesh uh, the skeleton sorry so it looks like it's done a pretty bad job already and um, to my indigo gold torch which i absolutely love look at how long the extensions are on it so i need to get that off asap and just hope for the best for this one they're not they're not cheap um corals so fingers crossed the next one i've looked across i can't see anything on any of these um but over at the back there you can see my hellfire Lengthways across that one, you can see a very long flat worm there. It's very well focused, but um, I can see it anyway. And yeah, I'm going to take every single one of the torches out of the tank. I'm going to get them all dipped and hopefully we can get as much of it off as possible. Okay, so I don't know if you can all see this, but it looks like a cluster of eggs next to where the flatworm is. Um, that's just one flatworm, and then I can see another one here. Yeah, panicking a little bit now because there's eggs. Don't know how to get eggs off. Um, but we'll keep the Indo Gold inside the dip and see what happens. They seem to be curling up or doing something anyway. Okay, so I literally got a syringe and I just squished some water at the flatworm and it just flew off. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can see the other one. No, oh, that did nothing. Oh. There it is. I'm going to have to get another little tub to put the flatworms in. Okay everyone, so I have taken out quite a lot of torches, I've put a few back as I've gone um, but I can't seem to see any flatworms on any of the other um, torches so hopefully that's a good sign, maybe it's not, maybe it's a sign that they are deeper within the torches, I'm not sure, probably going to have to look at some sort of medicine that I'll have to treat all the torches with. And hope that they come through <sighs> the joys but yeah I'm gonna leave these in for a few minutes and then I'll get these back into the tank and glued back on um, this is what the ones look like so far that I've already done the dipping on so they seem to be coming back out all right I've not done the holy grail yet so there's my Indo Gold that's usually huge, but obviously it's night time anyway, so it would be going in. Um, and then both of these have started to come out already straight away, so they can't be that beat off, hopefully. Um, just looking at the areas around where the torches sit, can't seem to see any flatworms. I don't really know if they just live off of flesh or if they can live in the rocks. Like I said, I need to do a lot more research, but hopefully by the next video I'll know a lot more and then can hopefully advise a little bit more too. 
And just to show you guys, this is what I've managed to pull off. Um, each time I've tried to pull one off, they split and they um, tend to stay alive, as you can see here. Look at that. So there's quite a few there. As you put the light on it, they curl up like that. Right, so we're done. I have um, dipped everything in iodine. I have taken off all the flat ones that I can see from just the torch garden and I have re-glued on everything back in the tank. The torches are all looking okay. Um, thankfully, none of them are really that mad. Um, so hopefully everything's fine and Let's hope I can go on this hen do and then when I come back I can sort out the tank properly. Um, I've done some research while while I was doing all that. I um, popped some videos up on the TV and um, there is quite a few different flatworm exit um, things on the market that you can get. Um, one of the well recommended ones is the Cellifert, um flatworm exit. And they say that you should add that to your tank. You should then siphon afterwards all of the flatworms that you can see instantly dying. So that's good to hear. And then you do a 50% water change. Now, the only issue with me doing that is that I just want to double and triple check that the flatworm exit isn't going to kill anything else in the tank. I do have my Christmas tree worm rock and a few feather duster worms I think that's all I'm panicking about um, but we will wait and see um, I need to do a little bit more research I need to ask some more questions to some people that have used it or have the same things that I do and see what they say um, before I just jump and buy a specific one apparently the brown flatworms that I have just found in my tank um, aren't necessarily that damaging it's just that they breed quickly but I found out that they do have a seven day cycle so I have found quite a lot of eggs as I've shown you on those videos I found some on another torch coral and once they've laid the eggs within seven days they will then be back hatching so um, they say that you should be doing the flatworm treatment for a month so each week out of the month you do the flatworm treatment you do your siphon and then you do a 50 percent water change so it's quite a big water change that for me um but gotta do it because i want to make sure that this tank is back to being how it should now there's nothing wrong with a tank when you look at it from the outside in um, but I have noticed those and I don't want there to be anything worse happening I don't want the flatworms to necessarily be smothering or overdoing the tank hopefully fingers crossed I've caught this while it's still early days looking at those flatworms though I'd probably say it's not early days because they were very long. Um, I'm doing a little experiment. There is going to be a part two, so after I've got the flatworm treatment and I'll keep you updated with what's going on in the tank. Um, but I have kept hold of the flatworms that I've taken out. Just put them in a little tiny Tupperware and um, obviously there won't be any heat or there won't be any light or anything. I just want to know what will be back. What will be there sorry in three days time when i get back might be that they're dead i'm not sure but um it would be interesting to see if there's eggs laid and interesting to see how quickly they really do grow and breed if they do stay alive and um, so we'll wait and see i'll show you i'll update you on that um, but thank you guys for watching hopefully one day this will help someone and um, if they notice anything that they have found that is similar to what i found in my tank take care guys thanks